Yo, what is going on, y'all? It's your boy Young Twan. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some samples like Palace. I'm gonna be kind of talking to you guys about some of his compositional techniques. And uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. So without further ado, I'm just gonna play uh, the sample right here that I came up with. So yeah, as you can see, it's very ambient, very palace-like. Uh, so first, what I started with, I went into Contact, and I picked this uh, Sonic Forest Contact Library, and I picked this Hints of Growth preset, and I went and uh, I first started by laying these chords down right here. So without the effects, I started with these chords. Then I wanted to add a sort of counter melody, um, which is what I added right here. And so to that, I added a bunch of effects. I added an EQ to cut the lows out. Then I added a good hertz wow control just to add a bit more of detune uh, with the uh, damage tape preset. Then I went into Valhalla Delay with these settings right here. I went into Effect Rack with the Liquid Vibe preset and another EQ just to cut the lows out right here. And uh, yeah, this is what it sounds like with the effects now. So yeah, super fire. Then next up, I went into contact again and I picked the same uh, library, the Sonic Forest, and I picked this Rays of Sun and I kind of used that as like a very like ambient pad, um, you know, just to add some more ambience to the sample. So without the effects, it sounds like this. So yeah, then I added a bunch of effects. I added an EQ to cut the lows out and also this frequency right here, I wanted to kind of, you know, lower. I added a delay tape 201 from Arturia with the stereo chorus preset. Then I added a halftime with the one bar loop. I added a stereo one imager from Waves. And then I also added another EQ to cut the lows out and also, you know, kind of lower some of these frequencies over here. And this is what it sounds like with now with the effects. So yeah, very, very ambient, very subtle. Um, then I went into Omnisphere and I picked this Keys Drive. I'm pretty sure this is from the Palace um, Omnisphere Bank. Um, and I took off this uh, acoustic uh, guitar um, thing. And I copied the same chords, but this time I also added some of these notes right here. So without the effects, it sounds like this. So yeah, then I didn't add too many effects to it. I thought the original sound was pretty good. So I just added some EQs to cut the lows out. Also, you know, lower some of these frequencies right here. And uh, yeah, some more right here. And finally, I added the top line. The uh, I used a flute line, well, kind of like a, yeah, I used this Macedonian command from uh, Balkan Ethnic Orchestra. It's kind of like a woodwind slash string type of thing. 
um, but if I'm not mistaken, uh, I played it very high, and so this is what it sounds like. So, without any effects, it sounds like this. So I added uh, an EQ to cut the lows out and also some of these frequencies right here. A Valhalla Vintage Verb with the large ambience preset and an effect rack with the liquid vibe preset. So it sounds like this now. So if you notice about this sample, there's a very distinct kind of like top line, which is the uh, violin type of like the Macedonian command, like, and then you have the chords. And so what Palace always does, which I've noticed in his MIDI kits, um, he uses like all his midis are kind of like divided into different parts. So you have the chords. Sometimes you also have a bass line, but uh, I didn't have it in here because the producer will just add the 808s, you know. So I have the chords right here. Then I kind of have these like, you know, counter melodies type of thing. Then I even have these, but really these were supposed to be here, but I just turned them up an octave. So they still count as like this kind of middle line type of thing. And then I, you have your top line uh right over here so you know is to add like different variation and take this out uh, at some parts of the sample and some parts of the beat and then you bring the other parts back in and you know you kind of add variation that way then i rendered everything out and uh routed it to the mixer track six with the and i added a good hertz wolf compressor with the two bus glue parallel preset a little radiator uh, where I turned down the heat knob a little bit and turn off the noise and then finally a spin with the default preset from Cleveland and with uh, a 10% mix uh, and to you know finish it it sounds like this So yeah guys, that's it from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this sample, enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know what you wanna see in the next videos and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.